Hi guys, welcome back, and today guys, I'm super excited because I'm going to show you exactly how I record and edit my videos. Before I jump into the video, this video was suggested by Technical Mistu. Thank you so much for suggesting it, and th this person's link is going to be in the description down below. So shout out to you. And if you like video editing tutorials and how to grow on YouTube, make sure to subscribe because I post these videos every single week. But enough of this, let's jump to the video. Usually when I record, I'm in the living room. That's because there's not much echo as there is downstairs, which I'm going to show you in a second. And usually I have my dad's phone to record attached to this tripod. And also we have this camera light, this studio light. It really helps. It brightens the image. It's awesome. And I also, back here, I have these subscribe pillows. Like one is a llama and one is a sub subscribe pillow. You probably noticed that in some of my videos. And if I do tutorials, I have to go to a different room, especially if it requires a computer. And then we have this five by seven inches foldable green screen. And then I sit on this chair, obviously in front of the computer. And then to record my voice downstairs, I have this blue Yeti stereo microphone, and it's really good. And for those of you who don't know, I edit my videos on the four-year-old iMac 5K, and I edit on Final Cut Pro. But now I'm going to show you what I use to screen record on both mobile and the computer screen. First, to screen record, I have this phone hooked up to this wire, hooked up to the computer. And this app is called Screenium 3, and it's really cool. You can screen record. And of course, if I need face cam, I put the phone on the tripod right here, and it records me. And this is a view from behind the computer. As you can see, I have two studio lights pointing to the green screen. That way, it's easier to remove the green screen later. But if I need a screen recording and a face cam, that means I'm recording one phone for screen recording and one phone towards me. The preview is deactivated, but anything I do on the phone is gonna be recorded on the screen. And that's why I have this microphone, so as I'm talking, everything is in sync. And it's the same thing with the screen recording on computer. I just click area, and anything in this box is gonna record. And also, one more thing, you can adjust the audio, like which microphone you want. And also camera if you want like a face cam, but I'm not going to do that right now. And then you have area, full screen, single window, and the iOS. I usually use the two area and iOS. Unfortunately, the computer sound is not that great. So if I need audio from an old video, I still hook it up to an iPad or iPhone. And if I need to export the files to Final Cut Pro, basically I double click this. Then I click export the file, then click export. And then obviously we're gonna name the file. I'm just gonna name it as Fortnite. And now this is exporting to Final Cut Pro. Now that we have all the clips, I'm gonna jump to Final Cut Pro and show you how I edit it. So of course I'm gonna open a new project and name it test. Now I put the first part of the video, which is me in my living room on the timeline. So first, before I even cut the clip, I adjust the audio. That way the audio is the same throughout this entire clip. Now that we have the audio, I'm going to cut all the unnecessary parts. And then, of course, after the start of the video, I put my intro. So then I keep cutting and slicing the clip so there is no junk. Before I show you the rest, I'm going to show you this cool effect because some of you asked. So the entire screen is black and white, except for the llama and subscribe pillow. So I mark the clip, then Command C. And now that basically copies the clip. Now click Command V to paste it. Now this is an easy effect, but it's time consuming. So I put the other clip on top of each other. And then I'm going to detach the audio so it's not double audio. And then delete that audio. Now on the right side, there's this black and white effect. Then you drag it to this clip. Now the layer that you see first is black and white. In Final Cut Pro, the masking effects are awesome. So you click masks and then drag the mask on top of the clip again. And now we're going to zoom in to make it more specific. And now mask around the llama. This is going to be kind of rough, this is only just to show you. And now when I connect the final point, it's going to be all together. And now the llama's in black and white, but we want it opposite, so we'll click invert mask. And there you go, now the llama's in color. 
And of course we want the pillowing color as well, so we just add another mask. And now we have the pillowing color as well. Now if I want to zoom in, but I also want the mask to follow, I just make this into a compound clip. Now you go to the transform tool, then you click this add a keyframe, and then go to the next keyframe. Now I drag the pointer to the timeline to the end, zoom in the video, and then add another keyframe. And now when I play it, it's going to slowly zoom in. And you see guys, I have a couple of compound clips in stock. You see, I open the compound clip and all the elements are separate. So for example, this color wheel, see? This is very handy if you're doing some animation or actual thumbnail. Because you can put any background and you're all set. So we have this background and we're going to blur it for example. There you go. Now if I want text, then you click text on the top left. And I usually just select basic text, but there's a lot of options. Then if I want other graphics, then I'm going to drag it too. Obviously resize it. Then to make it animated, we're going to use the same technique as I used a second ago. Then add a keyframe. Then go to next keyframe. Then go a little bit into the video. And then we're going to turn it slightly. And then go to next keyframe. Keep dragging the timeline. And rotate it again. Now go to next keyframe. Now we're going to drag it almost to the end of the clip. And rotate it. Now go to next keyframe. Now when you play it, it looks like the like button is moving itself. And usually I do segment by segment. So for one segment, I do all the cutting and editing before I move on to the next segment. So now this part is done, I will usually go to the second part. Then if I want some screen recording, then I'm just going to drag this clip. Same thing, adjust the volumes and all. And zooming in is very handy and important. If I want to show them the amount of subscribers I got for one video, the digits are very tiny, so that's why we have to zoom in. And now when I zoom in, you can see the amount of subscribers. Now if I want to add face cam, this is an easy one, you just drag it on top of the clip. So then of course I click keying, then click here, and drag it on the green screen clip. And now the behind me is disappeared. Then I resize it to the proper size and put it in the right place. And before I cut the clip into tiny little pieces, I usually add keying, adjust the color, and also adjust the audio volume. That way I don't have to do it for little tiny 5 second segments. Now if I want to add some funny effect that you guys like, I click distortion, then click fisheye, and there you go. My face is distorted. And then you can adjust it the way you want it to look. And there's a lot of different effects, you can adjust the way you look. And then there's audio effects and I use voice changer sometimes. And I usually use monster or helium the most. If I need some extra effects, then I just drag it to the clip and I'm going to show you how I get these effects. Then I have sound effects and I click audio. Now I have the explosion sound, so you want to match it where it starts. And there you go. And the way I get some of my effects is this website, and I pay usually $50 a year for it. The website is called footagecrate.com, and, th and this is all the video effects. For example, you have lightning. You see guys, if you want to put it in like your video clip, it's awesome, you can just drag it. Or a storm cloud. And I'll, some of them are free, but if, they if the effect has a star next to it, then you have to have the subscription. There's a lot of different effects, I even have social media, that's where I got my like and subscribe button from, and there are just so many things. So then you click that arrow and download it to your computer. And you see we have this element right here, so we're just gonna drag it. There you go, see you guys? And if I want, if I add music and I want to gradually adjust the volume, I move the timeline pointer, then on the right side click add a keyframe, then I move it again and add another keyframe. So now you can adjust it individually, the points, you see it's very low in the beginning, but then the volume rises. And if I don't want to show some part, like in my video, like there's an email. So there's two ways I can do it. I can put a blur on top of it, or just add a color box on top of it. And now if I want to cover how much money I make, then I just put this over the money. I don't mind if you see what I made, like an entire $2.85 for example, but I'm just going to cover it. And there you go. And if I need to show something in the video, let's say I need some arrow, then I get this generator, change the color to green, and then click shape, and adjust it to arrow. I'm going to click transform and flip it around. 
And of course, we can animate it as well. Some people asked me how to bring images and text from outside the screen to inside the screen. So this is how you do it. First, I hit transform tool. Then I go to view on top. And now we're gonna reduce it to 50%. And now we can bring it outside the screen. Now that the transform tool is marked, go to add a keyframe. Then go to next keyframe. Go through the timeline and move the object where you want it to be. And you can make it bigger too. So while it's entering the screen, it gets bigger. There you go. Now go to next keyframe. And we do the same with the, the, the text. And now when I play it, it's slowly coming into the screen. Just like that. I'm gonna show you a couple of extra edits, but before I do that, whoever answers this question first, not in this premiere right now, but after the premiere, we'll get a shout out in tomorrow's video. And the question is, which video took the longest to edit? And obviously I'm talking about the correct answer. And here's, and here's the quiz. Hi guys, welcome back. And today I'm gonna show you how to um, put your face cam in your gaming videos. From looking like this, to this, as you can see guys, right now I'm talking to you. Or even better, having a face cam with no background. And then get whichever device, iPad, a phone, or whatever to record yourself. In this case, we're using iPhone to record me. Then um, point your phone or whatever device you're using and point it to yourself so there's your face cam. It was years ago when I started a channel, a gaming channel. I wasn't a great gamer. Now that I understand what gamers desire, I've developed the skill to become a true Fortnite gamer. Yeah, right. Okay, good gamer. Uh, nah. -uh. Average gamer. Mm, not yet, no. Come on, I'm just trying to do a commercial here. Okay, advanced noob. Is that good? Yeah, all right. Now I've become an advanced new gamer at Fortnite, and I also started to make helpful tutorials for people. Yeah, right, Chris. What the f***, man? Chris, GTX videos. Think local. Think different. And think noob. Oh, no way! I'm not doing this again. Bye bye controller, I'm never gonna see you again. Whoa! That's cool! How dang how can this be dangerous? It's dope! Oh, oh. That's what you get for messing with the wrong people. 
Hi guys, welcome back and today I'm super excited because I'm gonna share my journey with you from me to getting to 2k subs. Before this journey, I want, that I'm gonna share with you. I just wanna say, guys, thank you so much for smashing those likes, sharing my videos, commenting on my videos, thank you so much for checking my live streams, subscribing. Thank you guys so much for that. I'm doing well, what are you watching? Oh, I'm not watching YouTube. I just figured out how to do my own YouTube channel. Really? Yeah. I'm okay. making YouTube videos now. That's awesome, bro. So you mean you have a few videos? Yeah, I started a couple of videos now. That's great. I think I'm going to tell my dad to open channel as well. That'll be cool. Yeah, you should do that too. You might get a lot of subscribers. Yeah, I'll try it. And when I was going back from Grace's house, I was really excited because I didn't know you can actually open your own channel. So I was so excited to go home because I didn't know if my dad or mom would accept me doing my own channel. If you want to see some cool effects that we did on Final Cut Pro, click this playlist. And that's a couple of short, little, edited movies that we made before. Make sure to subscribe because I post videos like these every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!